67 Taylor Burton. A 69.42 carat, pear-shaped diamond, was put up for auction in 1969 with the promise that the buyer would have the right to name it. Cartier of New York successfully bid for it and immediately named it Cartier. However, the next day it was bought by Richard Burton, who was going to give it to Elizabeth Taylor, and was renamed Taylor Burton. It made its debut at a charity ball in Monaco where Taylor wore it as a pendant. In 1978, it was announced that the diamond was being put up for sale, and that the proceedings would be put towards building a hospital in Botswana. Prospective buyers had to pay $2,500 just to inspect the jewel. Six Halls Diamond Not a true mined diamond, but actually the very first synthetic diamond in the 1950s. Once it was discovered that diamonds were nothing more than a bunch of compacted carbon, many attempted to replicate the gems. The first commercially, successful replication of a diamond was made by Tracy Hall in 1954. He along with many others had spent about four years failing to recreate an artificial diamond, but with his radical change to the compressor, he was successful. Even though he had been the first, his employers, General Electric, went on to make a fortune, while GE rewarded Hall with a $10 savings bond, in addition to his regular salary. Five The Idols Eye A 70.20 carat, big-sized gem, that was once set in the eye of an idol before it was stolen. Legend speaks of the jewel as once being given as ransom for Princess Rashida by the Sheik of Kashmir to the Sultan of Turkey who had kidnapped her. It is in the shape of rounded, triangular shape, and is of a blue-white hue. The first authenticated appearance by the diamond was at a Christie's sale in London in 1865. 4KOH Inor Name meaning Mountain of Light, the oval cut gem is 108.60 carats, and is now in the British Royal Jewels. Its history dates back to 1304, and is believed to have once been set in a famous peacock throne as one of the peacock's eyes. Recut during Queen Victoria's reign and worn as a brooch. It now resides in the Tower of London with the other crown jewels. Three-year loaf, or Orlov, this diamond is now one of the most important items in one of the greatest gem collections in the world. It is mounted in the imperial scepter that was made for Catherine the Great, and its weight has been measured to be 189.62 carats. It has the clarity of the finest Indian diamonds, and a blue-greenish tinge. It was originally said to have been set in the eye of a god in the temple of Sri Ranjan, and was stolen by a French soldier disguised as a Hindu. It now resides in Moscow, Russia. To the Great Star of Africa The largest stone cut from the Cullinan and is now among the British crown jewels. It weighs 530.20 carats, has 74 facets, and is still the largest cut diamonds in the world. Pear shaped and set in the royal scepter. It is also called Kulinani because it is the largest of nine diamonds cut from the original. One the Kulinani. Originally a diamond that was 3,106 carats and weighed just under 1 1 half. The Cullinan was cut into 9 major stones and 96 smaller ones, and is the largest diamond ever discovered. Found in South Africa in 1905, Frederick Wells caught sight of something reflecting the setting sun on one of his routine mine inspections. He originally thought he was just being fooled by a large piece of glass, but after a few inspections and tests it was discovered to be the largest gem anyone had ever seen.